Rwanda welcomes sub-Saharan African refugees staying in Libya under a humanitarian pact with the African Union or AU and the United Nations Refugee Agency or UNHCR the Central African nation recently agreed to take in an initial group of 500 with potentially up to 30,000 refugees to be eventually accepted over the next five years. Most in the first set are from the Horn of Africa countries and all wishing to permanently reside in Rwanda will be granted asylum under the arrangement. The AU and the UNHCR have been urgently seeking a solution for the 42,000 refugees living in Libya and have lauded Rwanda for stepping forward to help. Heaven's blessings, African Union and United Nations Refugee Agency for your caring and timely assistance to the vulnerable and may Rwanda forever enjoy the divine protection for safeguarding the displaced in their greatest hour of need. European Union assists Tajikistan with rural development. The European Commission has allocated 59 million euros to help Tajikistan agrarian communities to more efficiently and sustainably use natural resources, including water, thus bettering their ability to manage extreme climate conditions. In addition, the investment will focus on enhancing farmers' and agribusinesses' competitiveness. The project builds on past EU endeavors in this sphere and is being implemented by Development Agency German Cooperation for International Cooperation and the World Bank. The European Union, a Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion Laureate, has been aiding Tajikistan since 1991. Focusing on areas such as education, health, and the economy. Our accolades and God bless you, European Union, and supporting organizations for your generosity and assistance to defying citizens of Tajikistan. May the amiable people of the nation flourish evermore in the everlasting love of Allah. Mexican startup creates a cleaning artificial tree. The biourban robot tree from Biometech, a green technology company that cleanses the air using microalgae and releases pure oxygen, was recently installed in Puebla, Mexico. The 4-meter-high device's ability to remove carbon dioxide and other contaminants is equivalent to 368 real trees or 1 hectare of forest and purifies an amount of air equivalent to what 2,890 people breathe in daily. Meant for space-limited areas where planting a forest is not possible, two other such trees have been operationalized in Panama and Colombia with projects in Turkey and other parts of Mexico coming soon. Congratulations, Biometech, on the successful launch of your artificial tree. May pure air everywhere be all global citizens, birthright right in heaven's grace. Supreme Master Ching Hai joyously present Biomitech the Shining World Invention Award with all love, praises, and best wishes for great success in this environmental protecting project. May God forever favor you all with a prosperous, happy, long life. Dutch company creates partly solar-driven car. Lightyear has produced a long-range electric vehicle prototype with battery charging supplemented by the sun. To be released in 2021, the light year one can travel 725 kilometers between charges and the 5 square meters of solar panels on the hood and roof add 12 kilometers of driving distance for each hour in sunlight. Remarking on the automobile's solar power capability, Lightyear CEO Lex Hoofslut stated that with an average amount of daily driving in the summer in the Netherlands, you probably won't have to charge for about two months. Way to go, Lightyear, on your innovative combination of solar and electric vehicle. In brilliant celestial radiance, 
make clean earth friendly transportation options become ever more available throughout our world. United Arab Emirates launches Poetry Award for Women, coinciding with the 2019 celebration of Emirati Women's Day, which is observed August 28th annually. The Emirati Ministry of Culture and Knowledge Development announced the establishment of a yearly award to honor the country's female poets. The newly created Osha Bind Khalifa Al Zawadi Award for Nabati Poetry is named after the late legendary poetess who is greatly admired for her exquisite Nabati or Bedouin poems that paid deep tribute to her Emirati heritage and explored significant pan Arab issues, highlighting women's important contributions to the UAE's cultural traditions and inspiring young people to develop their writing talents are also goals of the honor. Our joyful applause, United Arab Emirates, for supporting female artists in the field of literature. May this prestigious recognition inspire many more Emirati women writers to further add to your treasure chest of national literary gems in Allah's all-pervading grace. U.S. fast casual restaurant chain to broaden plant-based menu. Florida-based Miami Korea, of which American Grammy Award-winning rap star, songwriter, and record producer Pete Wu is a co-owner, recently announced they would add more vegan dishes after the large success they experienced with the vegan Beyond Burger, which accounted for 25% of all burger sales in a one-month period. Miami Grill Chief Operating Officer Jonathan Bogo stated, Given the popularity of the Beyond Burger at our restaurants and positive feedback around its great taste, we have decided to begin the process of expanding our plant-based food options. It's very clear that consumers are looking for alternative food options. Congratulations on your well-received plant-based burger and your shift toward vegan food, Miami Grill. In God's glory, may animal-friendly eating swiftly be embraced globally. Taiwan, also known as Formosa, enhances leopard cut protection. In a project inaugurated by the Taiwan of Formosa's Directory General of Highways to safeguard the endangered leopard cat population on the island from vehicular collisions, Taiwan of Formosa's Endemic Species Research Institute and National Chongqing University have developed a device that uses thermal imaging cameras and artificial intelligence software to recognize when a cat is close to the road. The system then produces sounds and flashes lights to deter the feline from stepping on the roadway. Additionally, a traffic sign one kilometer ahead of the leopard cat's location is activated and warns drivers to slow down. The initial deployment of this life-saving mechanism that also can detect Chinese ferret badgers and Formosan germ-faced civets has shown great success. What a smart invention, Taiwan or Formosa. In heaven's comforting care, may all animals thrive in a world of peace, love, and sustainability.